Hi, thanks for joining me. I'm Reagan Tunstall from Tunstall's Teaching Tidbits. I want to talk to you today about having students use math strategies through their process standards. So I'm gonna share four products today that um, marry that experience for your kiddos, that give them that ability to practice and apply the strategies that they've learned with you in previous lessons as well as how we introduce those new strategies um, when the time comes. So today I'm going to focus on addition strategies and I'm going to focus on kindergarten. Now I have these different products that I'm going to share for K through 4 but, um, but today's lesson per se is going to be kindergarten based. So whether you're kindergarten or not you can apply the same principles to your grade level. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to think about the most important thing that we're doing in our lessons is to teach the students to name it and claim it, as I say. So they're going to learn a strategy's name and then they're going to practice and apply it and continually understand that this is one way to solve and there are many ways to solve. So for our lesson today, we're going to start with a math warm up. Now, this comes from my digital math warmups, which the teacher will just display on the smart board, or you could send them to all the devices um, if you're one-to-one. -one. But I think um, for what I see in this product, the purpose being a meeting of the math minds of the room. So you want to project it to where everyone's interactive with their talking and sharing. So um, I think it's best done just whole group on one screen. That's just my recommendation. So for today, we're gonna to have a Monday math chat. A math chat is essentially a number talk, and a number talk is a more of a process that you go through rather than a specific like type of problem. So you can have a math chat about absolutely any standard that you wanna teach and any problem that you want or skill. So for this particular one, since we're focusing on addition strategies, We've got this Monday math chat that says, show your strategies for solving two plus six. Um, and down below, there are two suggested strategies that the students might wanna share. So we've got use manipulatives, draw a picture, and then we always have the other. Um, now, in my mini lessons, <clears throat> excuse me, in my mini lessons and in my small group, I'm introducing my students to many different strategies. This is just a suggestion of two different ones. So students will say, for example, I'm going to use the strategy of building it, and then they would show, maybe under the document camera, how they would build it, count it out, and find that sum. Um, another student might draw a picture on a whiteboard and show it to the group, and then you may have students who say, I could use a 10 frame as a strategy, I can use counting on as a strategy, I could use a number line. So the focus is not what is the answer of two plus six. The focus is truly on name a strategy that you can use, show us how you use that strategy, and then what is your answer? Did someone else come to the same answer with a different strategy? All right, so that's our math chat. From there, I'm going to show you how I um, integrate my math vocabulary to support those strategies. So when I do, um, I call this Wordy Wednesday, I usually do my vocabulary on Wednesdays because it helps, to, to rem helps me remember. Now some of these are in the digital um, warmups, but I also have them on a ring and then from the ring they can go on the math word wall in the classroom if you have one or a focus board or somewhere to be prominently displayed for the duration of while you're teaching that strategy so i'm going to introduce the words that go along with our addition strategies such as join and we're going to talk about that um, or we on a different day or on the same day i'm going to introduce words like compose so any of those addition strategy words giving them the definition and then holding them accountable to using those words as well as myself because um, it's, it's hard to remember to explicitly teach vocabulary. We've got so much going on, but this is a way to help you enhance the strategy, get that vocabulary going and make it um, automatic for the students. All right, 
Another way that I teach strategies is, like I said, we name it and claim it. Um, somewhere along the way, I realized that there are over 40 strategies that I'm introducing throughout the year, but I don't always remember what I've introduced and I haven't been really clear on naming it and, and, and giving them that clear picture of that strategy. So I decided to make visual math methods cards. These are just my strategy cards to display, to teach them the name, show them what's happening, and then um, hold them more accountable. So for example, like I showed in the math warmup, one of our strategies being build it. This, these um, math methods are K to two. Um, so there's gonna be a huge range of different strategies from very basic to more complex. But the, the grade level range and the standards covered uh, are gonna be K to two in the, if, for the math methods product. All right, so for our addition strategies, we're gonna focus on, and there, again, there's many, but um, we are going to focus on perhaps teaching number line, and we're gonna focus on number bond. So the idea here is that I've said, the strategy we're using today or this week is called number bonds. This is how we use a number bond. And then we practice and apply it both in mini lessons and in small group. And then students, you can display these or um, just laminate them, have them out while you're doing that unit of addition, um, however it works for you and the space obviously that you have in your classroom. So we're teaching them those different strategies and we are having them name the strategy, we're having them practice it over and over in front of us so that they know they have lots of different strategies to use to solve. Again, kindergarten level here. Um, and then the next product I'm going to show you is how I then get them to do this in a more guided practice setting and ultimately independent practice. So I'm going to be sharing um, one of my newer products, which is my word problems products. Um, the purpose being that students will have the chance to work on word problems and then will be able to choose and I know it's hard to see, a strategy that works for their brain. And they can choose to do all of the different strategies displayed, or they can do one of them. They can also use the white space to do their own strategy, whatever works for them. So what we would do is, obviously, I would help read the problem, and we would go through it, and we would talk about and name the different strategies on the word problem card. And then with dry erase markers, students would solve the problem. Now, um, these can be done a lot of versatile ways. So I, that didn't make sense. This can be done many ways. Um, so you can run a bunch of the addition or, and I have these for every math strand, K1 and 2. Um, you can run all of the addition word problems off on colored paper. You can just run them off on white paper, you can actually put them on and just copy them with it on and make like a booklet that could be something that you do in class. You can use this in any way you want. So whether you wanna do colored paper, um, word problems, or just have it be black and white, or even prep it once, laminate it, and it's a center where you're not having to use your copies, it's done once, one time and it's done, and then you can pull those out for your small group lesson or whatever you're gonna use it for. So, the student would have the word problem here that you wanna work on, and again, they will choose the math strategy that you want. So if it's um, measurement or telling time or any other math strand that's not addition, they would have accompanying um, math strategies there that go along with those different math strands. So these are gonna go lesson by lesson, you have word more word problems than you know what to do with, <laughs> and different mats to go along with different strategies. So um, you can choose the mat that you want them to focus on and the strategies that go along with that. Anyway, so that's how I would kind of create that um, way for students to really use all of their different math strategies. And again, focusing on process of solving, not just answer, but it's all about what my brain understands and how do I express that 
um, out loud to my peers and out loud to my teacher so that I truly internalize that understanding and growth. All right, hope this was helpful.